Okay, I got a super cool project here. It's a DIY display gun rest. You can do this really easily with some basic equipment around the house and a tree. Come join me. Step one, find a medium-sized birch tree. Cut it down. Okay, next step. Cut your birch tree into four pieces and clean it up. Okay, I'm gonna jump forward here just a bit. These are the final parts that you need to make two of these display gun rests. The key is the post should be 1.5 inches in diameter because that's the spade bit that I have to cut the hole. So you totally could change the diameter of the posts if you have a spade bit that is larger than one and a half inches, for instance, two inches, you would just cut the birch tree at the level where the diameter of the branch is a match to your spade bit. Please pay attention to the dimensions of the gun rest. Note that the front post is taller than the rear post by about an inch. The purpose for this is I wanted my guns to be essentially level for display. You can totally adjust the height of the posts if you want to have your gun tilt in a specific direction. If you wanted to display a gun with a large magazine, such as an AR-15 with a 30 round clip, your posts are going to have to be very tall. Just measure to specs. Now I'm going to cut the base which is about 15 inches long and I like this thickness here and I'm going to split this right down the middle to get the two pieces. Now I had to use a little bit of Yankee ingenuity here because I do not have a table saw which I definitely have to get. So I secured the birch tree trunk to this sawhorse with this large screw and then I basically just rip saw this thing through. Pretty hardcore but uh, got the job done. Okay, the fun part now is take that drill bit and go in about an inch into your base because this will be where you're going to place your posts. And this is a little bit hard with my electric drill, but uh, it all worked out in the end. So then the super fun part is just to uh, make sure your measurements all worked and that your posts fit into the holes nicely. You'll glue these later. I didn't, uh, I didn't demonstrate that because we need to dry the wood first. This is kind of an optional step, but I like to clean my wood up a little bit, the bark at least, with a very fine sandpaper or a bristle pad like this. You can even use a little bit of soap and water. Okay, don't laugh at me for this one. A quick way to dry the wood is to put it in an oven at 170 degrees for about 12 hours. This is literally the same approach for drying the jerky. Don't forget to crack open the oven. Okay, next step is to glue on these felt circular tabs to protect your gun when it rests on the posts. These are 1.5 inches, so I didn't even have to cut them at all. You can buy different sizes depending on the size of your posts. You may want to attach a system that secures your gun so it doesn't roll off these posts. And I thought a lot about this and came up with this really kind of simple uh, solution. I screwed on a little clasp racket system and bought one of those little mini bungee cords at Home Depot and once I had these clasps on each side you can just swing the bungee cord right over like this and your guns nice and secure. Mm -hmm.